Hey, greetings, performance reviews where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today I'm just going to do a quick microphone test and just sound test of what vacuum cleaners actually sound like. You know, I've been putting a Boyo uh, shotgun mic on top of the camera for some time and in my reviews adding the actual sound clip of the vacuum in there, which to my knowledge no other uh, YouTuber even talks about the sound of a vacuum cleaner. You know, you can get a decibel meter, but the actual tone to me is kind of more important than the decibel rating. You know, of course if the decibel goes into the 70s then you need hearing protection, but that's, that's kind of rare for the vacuums that I generally review. It's more common for some of the shit tier vacuums like the Sharks and the Dyson handhelds, but I, I don't do a lot of content with that. I tend to do more premium vacuums, things you'd actually want to buy. So upon doing a recent interview, I noticed my shotgun microphone was not in great health. It was picking. It's always kind of picked up a lot of like Wi-Fi sounds and actual electronic noise. All right, as an example, what does the IJ mean? Uh, the IJ is just the manufacturer's code. Uh, that just tells the factory when those parts were uh, sent in and they were able to be put on this particular machine. So it's always been important to me to capture the proper tone and the sound of the vacuum in a relatively consistent manner for you, the viewer, so you can make somewhat of a decision if you could live with this thing while you're using it. Now, I was doing this interview with Lenny, who is the head tech over at SIBO USA, and I just picked up all these things. I could hear some Wi-Fi in the background. I could hear, you know, a forklift. That's fine. But, like, I could hear... There was just this, like, humming. And it, I hadn't heard that from that microphone in any other video in recent. So I decided to go do a little bit of research. And I came back with this Audio-Technica Big Black microphone. I'm calling it Big Black because it is as long as my arm. This thing is about a foot long, maybe lo longer, and uh, just, it's much bigger. But so far, the audio quality from what I can tell by cans. Now I say that, of course, upon editing, I hear all sorts of white noise in here, and it's driving me crazy. We'll see if it translates into YouTube. Now, if you were to ask me, what does a vacuum cleaner sound like? Well, this is the vacuum cleaner I grew up with in my childhood. So this is maybe the first sound that comes to mind of what a vacuum cleaner sounds like. Uh, so here at the new microphone, we're going to test my Electrolux Olympia Special, only made for two years or so. Uh, yeah, so this is kind of a rare one, but... So yeah, when I think of vacuum, this is the sound that comes to mind. This is the power level that comes to mind. This is the thing. So let's see how these four vacuums, which I specifically picked. I picked the D4 because it's quiet. I picked the Zero G because it's a higher pitched machine, but it's not as high pitched as it would often come out on camera. It, it was actually the machine that forced me to kind of change how I was recording audio. I also have a Volwerk, which is an extremely quiet machine, and then I have a Kirby, just again as another loud machine. So we have, uh, you know, a quiet canister, a weird sounding canister, a very quiet upright, and an upright that a lot of people are familiar with. So let's turn these all on, see how they sound. I'm also going to inject back to back clips of what this sounded like with the old audio equipment. We're just going to turn on the D4 first. That's what the D4 sounds like. D4. Next, let's go to uh, zero G.
hear that, the contrast between that. Next, let's go uh, with the Volwark. Now, to my ears, this is the quietest upright I think I own. Definitely the quietest direct air upright I can think of. Kirby. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's by far the loudest vacuum here decibel wise, though it is a pleasant tone. Now, I just showed you a Volwerk, which is an extremely exotic machine. I showed a Cebo D4, which is a little on the higher end the side of things. Same with the Kirby, though Kirby's are common on the used market. I did want to just show four machines I thought, if you didn't have one of those or know what one of those examples sounded like, maybe you might know one of these four. I have a Mila F6 with a Vortex new style motor. Sounds like a Mila. You have Hoover Convertible, a Dyson, Hoover Wind Tunnel T. So hopefully you know what one of these sounds like, if you're not sure. Again, this is kind of just a microphone test. Quiet. Let's not run over the meal cord here. Let's try the Hoover convertible. Let's give the uh, Dyson a try. And that motor wine's kind of long in that Dyson. Let's give the Hoover Wind Tunnel T Series a try. Well, folks, I hope that's answered kind of what vacuums sound like. You'll have to excuse me, I'm just getting over the flu, so I probably sound like shit. Uh, if you like this sort of content, definitely check out the links below. Uh, we have Discord server, we have Patreon, all the usual stuff on YouTube. Give this video a thumbs up, that helps us out a whole lot, and have yourself a wonderful day. Just like my fucking childhood, never going back in.